Hello YouTube, welcome to this quick video where I'm going to through, go through some settings that I use uh, within Streamlabs that help uh, my stream from a single gaming PC perspective. Um, I have found even that when you have a high powered gaming PC, some games can still cause the stream to struggle um, due to do how the Streamlabs itself has been processed in the background. So some of these things that, uh, that I'm going to go through here may help you with your stream. Um, so just to give you some context, um, I'm streaming with a internet speed download of 35 megs and an upload of 9 megs. The output that we're going to try and achieve today is uh, 720p, 60 frames per second. And obviously you can adjust the settings up and down depending on your uh, broadband uh, download and upload speeds. In terms of the PC I use, uh, it has an AMD 5900X, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, an ASUS X570E motherboard, uh, NZXT Z73 360mm AIO for cooling, and an RTX 3080 Ti. So even with all that power, when I stream from a single gaming PC, I still get drop frames, even though I'm confident the internet is not the problem. And some of the settings that I'm going to show you here, to show you here today has helped fix that. So I'm going to take you over to the PC screen here, run through the settings fairly quickly, um, give them a try yourself and see how you get on. So the first thing I want to show here is this uh, Twitch TV encoding page because it's Twitch here that I'm going to be uh, doing this video for uh, and with NVIDIA as the graphics card. So I put this uh, link in the description below but basically it shows you the settings that you would use for Twitch in relation to your NVIDIA card and also has the settings for your if you're using it from a CPU using the X264 codec. Um, so when we scroll down we can see here we have the settings for 720p 60 frames per second which we'll be doing in this video because the main thing is to get your, your, especially when gaming, is to get it smooth. 60 frames is so much better than 30 frames. Uh, so that you want to hit that frame rate and hopefully at a decent resolution. Um, so these options down here, we're going to put into Streamlabs in a few minutes, along with some extra options to check in your setup. Uh, the one uh, option to be aware of, or most aware of, is the bit rate. Uh, so the target bit rate here will be about 4,500 kbps for a 720p 60 frames per second. Um, stream. So this number generally relates to your upload speed. Uh, so if you take my upload speed for example of 9 megabits per second, um, generally you would use between half and two-thirds of that, or, or that would be the most. Between half and two-thirds would be the most I would use for bit rate uh, in relation to your uh, upload. Obviously if your upload is a lot higher, there's no issue. So uh, how this number relates then if you take the 4500 move the decimal point to after the first number so uh, 4500 becomes 4.5 that that's the number we compare to our upload speed so the bit rate of 4.5 compared to my 9 is about half uh, and it gives me a bit of leeway where I can go between 4500 and 5000 uh, so these are the settings I use here and the settings that you may use um, if, if you're looking to stream for the same output on the target that I'm trying to get here. So before I open Streamlabs, the other uh, tip I give and other uh, thing that I found is that background apps will have an effect on your stream on a single gaming PC setup. Close as many background apps as you can. So for example, in your bottom right hand corner, look at the apps you have opened before you start streaming and see what you can close. In the past, I had Philips Hue running in the background while streaming, and that application, when closed, made a huge difference to the quality of my stream. So before you start, background apps, what you don't need to be using, or doesn't relate to the gaming, close as much as you can. I know obviously you need some background apps for lighting and etc. but as best you can, the more you close there, the better it's going to be for your stream, especially if you're struggling. So that's the first tip. The second then is before you start Streamlabs, I find it better to run in administrator mode. So to do that, you hold the shift key on your keyboard, right click on, actually this is open here, let me close it. So hold the shift key, right click on the icon and go to um, run as uh, administrator. So this just allows uh, the application to run in administrator mode, uh, just giving it less restrictions in how it runs in the background. So that will open Streamlabs. Uh, in administrator mode. Um, so now in Streamlabs, let's go through some of the settings we have, and it specifically relates just to the streaming setup. We're not going to go through, you know, your your background setup, your video, your audio. This is just the streaming uh, settings that I found work best for a single gaming PC setup. So the first thing you want to do is hit this cog in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. Hit settings there. Uh, then you want to. 
uh, first go to the general tab and the one option I would change here if it's if it's set uh, is in relation to um, scroll down until you see automatically record while streaming if this is ticked I would untick it especially if your stream is struggling you know try it without I know you may want to record at the same time but you know let's try to get to a state where we have that smooth stream and then we can turn back on some of these options and see how it goes so automatically record video while streaming I would turn off that's the only thing I would change in general everything else at default is fine uh, down to the stream this is where you're going to select the provider you use to stream and link your accounts I'm using Twitch uh, output uh, this is where some of the most important settings go in in relation to the web page we discussed here that has the encoder settings. So from within your output, I will go to advanced mode up top, gives you more options. Uh, for the encoder, I am using the NVIDIA card 3080 Ti, so for any newer NVIDIA cards, 20 series, 30 series, I would use the new NVENC codec. Um, enforced streaming service encoder settings I would untick if it's ticked so make sure that's unticked your rate control is CBR bit rate I've set to 4800 you said the recommended is 4500 I just opted a small bit because I had a bit of leeway with my um, I had a bit of leeway with my upload speed the one thing to be aware of bit rate uh, you know why necessarily you wouldn't just go straight for a really high value the higher you put your bit rate uh, the larger the amount of data you send to Twitch and will cause then the viewer at the other end a needing a better internet connection to view your content. So just to be aware with, with really high bit rates, uh, it makes it harder to stream the other end if you know you don't have a good internet connection. So depending on where you're streaming to and uh, your target audience and you know if, if you want to include more and more people, um, you know, to keep the bit rate within uh, the correct range helps a lot. So for this 4800, you can set it to 4500, it's fine. The keyframe interval I'd set to two. Preset, I'd set to quality. Profile, I'd set to high. Look ahead, untick. And psycho visual tuning, I'd leave ticked. GPU set to zero. And max B frames set to two. So there are the settings for output within streaming. Um, they're the only settings I've changed there that, that have helped my stream. For video, so this is where we're setting the resolution and frames per second that we want to send to Twitch. For the base canvas resolution, uh, I would set that to your monitor resolution. So for example, mine is a 1440p monitor, so I've set to 2560x1440. The output scale resolution is the resolution we want to send to Twitch. So in this case, it's a 720p, so 1280 by 720. Uh, downscale filter, I use bicubic, bicubic 16 samples, uh, FPS ties, common values. And for the FPS uh, value, I've set to 60. So 60 frames per second, 720p is what I want to stream to Twitch. Um, now, some will say the base resolution, you, you, you can also leave that at you know, both of them at the same 720p. Uh, you know, it might be worth trying that as well to see if this will help. But I have found using my monitor on the base and the output at the, the desired resolution for uh, Twitch to be the best. Okay, so that's a uh, video. Just checking here the notes to make sure I get everything. The next one then is um, relates more to the Streamlabs software itself and how that runs in the background and is it getting enough resources for uh, it not to be bottlenecked by your CPU being just hit so hard by, by the game. So go to Advanced and under General where you see Process Priority, set that to High. That's one of the more important settings that when we change, um, if you're struggling on a single gaming PC setup, and you're happy with your internet, this, this setting can make a big difference. So set that to high. That's all the settings that I've, that I've really changed there in relation to getting that smooth stream. The one other thing I'd say is relates to the live view that we, you know, we have here. When you're streaming, oftentimes in a second monitor, you may have the live view uh, going so that you can see your stream, interact with the chat, all that good stuff. Um, but that can affect performance. So if you're still struggling and you're still getting, you know, from your metrics down here in the bottom left, if you're still getting drop frames and it's showing up as red, you know, the stream isn't going smooth, I would also try right-clicking this area and going into performance mode, which disables your live view. While I know live view is important, you just may have to view your stream from a separate device. Uh, you know, give it a try and see does that help. A handy feature within Streamlabs is setting, within back into settings and within hotkeys, scrolling down to, you know, the option where you want to set a shortcut. So toggle performance mode, you can set your own custom 
a shortcut in there so that you know if it's on a second screen of the stream started you can switch quickly switch back and forth with uh, performance mode and live view just to make sure the stream is is, is active uh, but that's that's the final setting I'd, I'd give a try so like in summary you know check the background apps have a look at those few settings consider disabling uh, or enabling performance mode you know try your stream and see does that help a lot uh, it definitely helped me a lot compared to when I started the stream and, and you know change those few settings and then it's, it's just you know it runs 720p 60 fine no issues give it a try see how you get on if anyone has any options that i've missed that that you have found help with this you know, please add them in the comments below so anyone watching this video can give them a try too and i'm, I'm happy to learn here because uh this is just from the few bits i found from trawling the internet uh if this video has been any way helpful you know please drop a like and subscribe uh, other than that have a good day and hopefully you've uh you know you're streaming with a few settings changes um you know goes a lot smoother and is a lot better uh, but listen thanks for watching and have a good day